All right, guys, not the video I thought I'd be making tonight. I figured I'd have something else to talk about. Um, and you'll have to excuse the way I look and the fan going. And we're in the middle of a heat wave here in Washington, which means it's actually, you know, above 90. <laughs> hey, you know, we don't have air conditioning built in. It is what it is. So that being said, apparently today the YouTuber I show speed had a little bit of a wardrobe malfunction. Now, I say wardrobe malfunction um, almost in jest because I personally don't think this was accidental or at least unintentional in some capacity. Just hear me out. But long story short, this guy just got back from having a strange uh, illness, some sort of sinus infection that caused his eye to swell up. So this was his uh, first or second stream back after having this really weird thing that happened to him. Young guy, huge audience. He gets like 24,000 people watching him. And he got really excited during his stream, really excited when he got scared during a jump scare uh, from Fr Five Nights at Freddy's. And apparently it caused him to jump out of his skin and just happened to have his Johnson pop out of his boxer shorts. Now, again, I'm a guy. I've been a guy my whole life. Uh, he's not that old, but he's in his what early 20s. He should know what happens when you get like thrusting back and forth when you're in boxer shorts. And if you're slightly half chub half master well endowed uh well let me just show you real quick we're not going to play obviously the part <laughs> i'm just going to show you what led up to it so here's the jump scare right here he gets all freaked out gets up and he starts rusting that's about the part where i have to stop right there now the thing is as a guy if you're in boxer shorts and you start thrusting and there's holes and buttons and, and, you know, creases in the material, things can slip through. They will find a way through. This is not brain surgery. OK, this is not complicated at all. That being said, it happened intentional or not. And here we are. He has not been suspended as far as I can tell. The stream from today is down. It's gone. But he is still around. Uh, there's no news about him actually being suspended. Now, there's been a lot of talk, especially in my Twitter mentions, because I'm just like, ah, screw it, just ban the guy. Now, again, I'm not saying that because just of one accident. It's because I think he's just a generally idiotic streamer. I don't enjoy his content, but again, his content's not for me. His content's for younger people. My content tends to appeal to people more in my age range, tw late 20s to mid 40s. You know, I mean, I think we're kind of like the boomers of YouTube. That being said, this dude's audience is primarily younger. Who would let their kids watch him? I don't know. But his audience is definitely in the younger side of things, more Gen Z and, be and below that. Now, a lot of people had said, oh, come on, it's just a, it's just a dick. You know, how can you say he should get banned for that? Well, YouTube has strict rules about that. Not that they're evenly enforced or properly enforced. We all know about the naked yoga videos that YouTube has. There's even a guy who, uh, I believe, shaved his butthole on a video. I'm not even kidding. And it's still up on YouTube. I'm not looking for it. I'm not going to go looking for it. But trust me, people have talked about it. I'm sure it's still there. Now, this brings up the question of why should he get banned when other women, or not other women, excuse me, I show speed as a dude. Why should he get banned when women don't for the same type of offenses? And that's true. That is very true. There needs to be even enforcement. Famous streamers such as Amaranth has been banned seven times on Twitch. She streams over on Kick. I'm sure that her Kick streams get way worse than her Twitch streams ever did. And yet she still comes back every time, makes more money after each suspension, after each banning. So do people like Alinity. Now, to be fair, I'm not sure how much of an audience Alinity has anymore. She, her name's been around for a while. This is the girl, if I'm not mistaken, that's famous for giving her cat alcohol or something during a stream or throwing her cat or something. But she's been banned for content, for things that she's done. I think she's had some D DMCA bans as well. Pokimane, DMCA strike for uh, streaming Avatar The Last Airbender. And again, somebody whose audience is drying up as they get older. Um, and of course, most famously, I did a video on this gal uh, last year, I believe it was. The Twitch streamer with no audience. Actually, articles like this is what put her on the map because she was a, I think she's Colombian. She's somewhere in uh, South America, I'm pretty sure. She had a very small audience, a couple thousand followers on Twitch. Did this and then her popularity skyrocketed. Um, she got caught with a reflection in the window showing her boyfriend doing stuff to her from behind while she was streaming and, t you know, communicating with chat. And she got banned, but, you know, that ban didn't last forever. And lo and behold, here she sits today at 32,000 followers. Not bad for one year on Twitch. I think she's been on Twitch for about a year, year and a half. Okay, I, I was on Twitch actively streaming for my first two, two and a half years. I got to 400 followers. And that was with a lot of work put in. I, I tried, I busted my ass, and it never got me anywhere. Apparently, this is the golden ticket.
So I got to find, uh, no, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> um, but as you su suspect, these kind of people, they always have the spicy sights. Go figure. I mean, it, it, it just, it's so sad that it's predictable that one goes with the other these days. I hate it. And honestly, to be fair, I'm not a fan of the, the OF accounts. I'm not a fan of the girls that are the e-thoughts and all that. I think that there's a lot better options for making money, a lot better ways to do things. But I, I hate the most that Twitch has this pipeline that funnels young men, particularly, to these women, to these parasocial relationships where they just bleed money out of them. I despise it. But, unfortunately, it's kind of the name of the game. There are not... Um, there are also examples of men that have not been banned. Now... Obviously, I think with the male streamers, you do have to be of a certain caliber where a larger audience, more money for Twitch, more money for YouTube to escape the bannings. XQC is a prime example. Somebody who has broken rules, who streamed explicit content, streamed a whole freaking movie over on Kick. Dark Knight Rises, I'm pretty sure, one of those movies. There's this dude. Uh, this is actually a man. I, I actually had never heard of this before. Finster. Huge audience over on Twitch. 170,000 uh, followers. Apparently dresses like this for all of his streams. It's a biological man. It's not a transgender person. It's somebody who actually is a man and got in trouble for adjusting his bra too much during a stream. Got banned. He's still there. He still exists, though. Uh, Mizkiff, huge streamer. Never watched a single minute of his content. He's been banned multiple times. Watching MILF Manor or doing things that were, again, against DMCA rules or sexually explicit or following controversy or all sorts of stuff. But these people have all survived. The only one who hasn't which is not shocking, is Dr. Disrespect, who got banned, as we probably all remember, after some comments he made during the lockdowns during 2020, where he was talking about some things that went a little bit against the mainstream uh, you know, message. All this to say, I don't believe I Show Speed is going to get banned. I do believe there's a chance that this was not accidental. I'm sorry. When you are streaming to tens of thousands of people, and you have an audience the size you have, not 20, almost 20 million subscribers, you know, the least you could do is put on a pair of sweatpants, an extra pair of uh, shorts or something. This guy knows that he's freeballing it down there, practically. He knows what's going to happen if he gets up and starts humping the air in front of his camera. Give me a break. But you know what? That's just my opinion. I don't think he's going to get banned. If anything, I think if he does get a ban, it'll be temporary and he'll come right back. More subscribers, more, you know, popularity than ever. Let me know what you guys think down below, though. Um, do you think he's going to get the ban hammer? I doubt it. But either way, I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.